Of course you heard about the Queen's Platinum Jubilee 2022, which is particularly celebrated during the present extended bank holiday weekend from Thursday the 2nd to Sunday the 5th of June 2022. When Zaki was 21 years old in 1986, he was in Britain. He stayed in Nossington near Oakham, near Leicester in the countryside for six months at the cottage of an uncle's friend. This was a very pleasant stay. When my hosts had guests over for dinner at the weekends, I was allowed to take part in their dinner party. This was very interesting to get to know people and also British mentality. What I remember in particular is a conversation I had with an Englishman after dinner one evening. For this gentleman, getting closer and closer to the Queen's circle of friends was a glorious perspective. A very clear and important ambition. He explained that for him the Queen represented culture, intellectual circles, in short, everything related to any kind of pleasant and valid ideals. Conversely, he couldn't imagine how people like me could live in Switzerland without a Queen. What could people's interest in life be? without this powerful and exciting beacon. His preconceived notion was that the Swiss ambitions in life could only be of such a base nature as the pursuit of money. Without a queen, could there remain any valuable ideal for people to pursue? I was utterly flabbergasted. I felt obliged to argue but to no avail. There was either way little hope to reform such amazing narrow-mindedness, was there? This remained one of the most striking conversations I had in Britain back then. I have often reported about it to students in relation to British mentality since then. What is your reaction to that report? Was this man a very awkward person, or do you share or at least understand his views? Have you encountered people in Britain whose main ambition in life is to belong to the Queen's circle of friends? Do you share this ambition? I'd be very interested to know. So, leave me a text message, or even better, a recording explaining your views. I'd be delighted to hear it. Thank you.